So one of the questions is, how do we make illustrations? How do we drive our point home? And I want to go to this text and this clip where Walter Pearson, he takes the illustration of anatomy and bones for the sermon on Ezekiel. And what he does is he makes his illustration, but then he drives his point back home. So pay attention to how he does this smoothly. I'm going to share a clip with you all. I'll share my screen. To bleach in the sun, to wear away and be eaten by predators that came. Nobody came. This is the situation that Israel had conjured up. This is the situation that God started with. Now he takes the prophet and says, let me let you see all of them. I don't want you to miss any. Because if you miss any, you might not see how grand is this dilemma. I want you to see all of it. And to know that there are dry bones everywhere. And they are very dry. They've been there a long time. Now, in a few moments, I'm going to try my amateur uh, effort at showing that there is something to this parallel about bones. The fact is that physicians are clear to say that the stem cell that creates blood is found in bone marrow. So if the bones are very dry, the marrow has dried. And if there is no more stem cell for the production of blood, man cannot live without blood. So this is not only hopeless for now, it is hopeless for the future. These bones cannot produce the very stem cell that brings blood. What should be counted all hope when you look from one end of a valley to the other? When every bone that you see is dry, when they are not stacked in an orderly fashion, but when one bone is here and another bone is there, and if you were challenged to put them together, you wouldn't be able to do it. God wants you to see that when you have no power, when you can't do anything, when you would have to say, I give up, that's when God is most powerful. Man. And so he says to the prophet, Amen. Amen. So if, if this is so powerful, you see how he used the scripture, went to the physician, talked about the bones, and then pointed back to Jesus. And that's the key to a sermon illustration. Not only is it to expound on your point, but it's to bring it back to the main point. Keep it Christ-centered. So let's go over some quick learning points. I'm going to, let's see. Okay. So here's the learning points from this that we could take to incorporate into our preaching. Hopefully I'm sharing the right screen. New share. Oh, okay. Let's share this screen. Okay. First illustrations that drive back to the main point okay so we saw the use of anatomy to drive main point home so this is where we could say what is the occupation of the people that deal with bones what is the occupation of people that deal with sheep what is the occupation of people that deal with all these different things question ask key questions ask questions how does the keyword in the story connect to our everyday life when you're looking at these keywords like bones what, what problems do we go through with bones? Why are bones important? Okay, how can I weave these illustrations in so that they transition smoothly? It's not just about making an illustration. It's about making an illustration that transitions smoothly. And last but not least, bring it back home to God. Center it in Jesus. Those are the keys to making illustrations that drive back the main point. Brothers and sisters, I pray that this research could be great for you and this this resource can be great for you. The key here is to utilize this platform so every single segment of your sermon, whether it be illustrations, expounding on the text, the appeal, the application, you can watch these little small videos and, uh, and use it to adjust your sermon, edit your sermon 
um, mold your sermon so it could be the best Christ-centered sermon that God can make it to be, to preach powerful biblical sermons through you. Again, like and subscribe and share this with the preachers that you know. Advent preaching, our mission is to train and equip lay preachers to preach powerful Christ-centered biblical messages. God bless you all.